So this is my six month experience with the EG4 6000 XP along with their battery rack system. And I'm saying experience and not review because I'm not gonna go over the technical details of this equipment. There's a ton of videos out there uh, depicting the exact uh, details and how to set it up and, and all that. This is just my experience of being totally off grid here in the Caribbean. Well, my experience has been very positive. Now there are a couple uh, issues or things I would I would personally like to see improved upon. Their monitoring service, uh, the website goes down sometimes, uh, not often, but once in a while. And and there is an option if you're local, you're pretty close to your inverter, you can do a local connect. I usually connect via Bluetooth, but there is a, a TCP network option. But Bluetooth connection works really well, just to kind of see if everything is going. And there are no, right now there's no alarms, so you can't set up conditions on their monitoring website. So if your state of charge or voltage drops to a certain amount, you know, you don't get alerts or emails or anything like that. And, and uh, I'd also like to know, since I'm gonna be setting up my generator soon to it, um, you know, when does the generator kick off and, you know, turn off and, and any kind of errors in the system. I haven't had any errors. The only alert I've seen in the app on the phone has been that it has no AC connection. And that's true. I don't have any, uh, you know, great connection to this, to that system. A power use has been fairly small. It's a small house, but I do run three mini splits and then a small window unit. Uh, the window unit is actually right here. It's a 5,000 BTU and it goes 24 seven. I have it set to about 80 degrees and that's primarily not to, it's to keep the, the heat down a little bit, but the humidity. So it helps dry out this, this area. The most I've seen wattage use at one time was about 3,700 watts at one time. And that was the the well pump or the water pump going off, ACs running, microwave going, and coffee maker. And so, uh, you know, it the systems I have just don't use a lot of electricity, which is great. Everything's LED and, and very efficient. Uh, once in a while, though, I see when my water pump turns on that if I have some lights on, that I'll see just a minor, minor flicker a couple times when that initial surge happens. Uh, but that's it. Otherwise, it is way better being on than on grid here because the grid here on the island is, is uh, very expensive. It's over 40 cents a kilowatt hour. I think it's 41 or 43, something like that. It's very expensive. And there's a lot of outages all the time. I mean, there's outages almost daily where, you know, large part of the island is, is out of power. Um, and next, I, I mentioned my generator, so I'm gonna set that up. And I have a device, it's not a two wire start generator, but I do have a device that goes in between my inverter and the generator that will actually uh, change or, or change the, the two wire signal from the inverter to a different component that connects to the starting uh, a button, you know, the starter on the generator to start that and stop it, uh, just like a normal two wire system for that generator. And then eventually I'm going to get my solar panels off the roof and do a ground mount system. And my idea with a ground mount system is first off, you know, get them off the roof, uh, you know, fire hazard or whatever, they're pretty good, but you never know, uh, lightning strikes and such, it, it is grounded. And then also primarily for storms rolling in, I'm gonna to design to where I can just basically lower the one end and then be flush mount to the ground and lock it in place. And if I have to put plywood over them and then I don't have to mess with them for a storm. I just lower them and that should be good to go. And so that's my idea. I haven't seen that out there yet. I'm, just, I'm gonna to have to uh, fabricate that. And, but man, we were so happy with this setup. Um, I have 7,800 watts of solar set up, and this system will take, uh, it can use 8,000, uh, although I have 78 
um, set up. I've, I've seen it go over that just because they're bifacial, but they're fairly flesh mount. But I guess some uh, light is getting underneath there, so I'm getting over the uh, rated amount on the one side. Um, it's no problem. I mean, this system works really well. I don't have to worry about electricity and highly recommend it. I mean, that's my experience.